Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Engineers Life series. Grab your snacks cause today we're going to be jumping into some forestry and we're going to be getting busy with bees. So let's go ahead and buzz on off into today's episode. Alright so to get started with today's episode here guys what I'm thinking of doing is I want to do some building. Cause as nice as this place looks I kind of get zapped a lot and well yeah let's just be honest it don't look all that great let's just be honest here so i kind of want to make a room and what i'm kind of thinking of doing with it is we will kind of have a pathway that comes in and allows us to basically look down at the machines and all that stuff and see all the nice spaghetti conveyor belts and all that and you can see all the sorters and stuff well maybe not the sorters they kind of look ugly but you can see the conveyor belts and I'm also thinking possibly we'll have layers to this, so like at the far wall over here when we walk in from there we can see like this here up top and then that has conveyor belts that kind of go into the top of this and then this goes into the top of that where it has to go. I think that would look kind of neat. And I'd also like to try and sort everything I smelt as well so we'd have to like sort the gems out here is one thing we'd have to do. And then we'd have to sort all the different ores from here, somehow. That would be pretty nice. I don't know if we'll do it, but that would be pretty awesome if I could figure that out. I think it'd be pretty easy. We just do what we do over here, just a lot more. So I guess it depends on if I have the redstone to do it. And then for this thing here, here's something I would like to try, but I'm not sure how to do it. Like normally I think it'd be best to do it with like lecterns or something but having like a selector panel to select the ore or amount and then have it delivered here so we can make say I don't know select one button for 16 plates and another for like I don't know 32, 48, 64 kind of thing. Something like that so we can make like plates, blocks, rods if we need them that kind of stuff. I think that'd be really cool, but I'm not sure how to do it. I feel like I'd need a lectern, and lecterns aren't in this version. So, I do have a selector thing that's working on for elevators, so I might be able to incorporate that into it, possibly. And maybe make it work, but we'll have to see on that. Who knows, I might not be able to do it. I'm pretty bad at redstone. But yeah, I want to build all this stuff way over here is the plan, and I need to figure out how I want to build this. I have to kind of do sizing for the machines as well. But yeah, we'll be building it over here. But let's go ahead. Let's get started. Whoa, that is some monster leg. Uh, let's get started on this, guys. Let's start digging this place out now. All right, guys. It's been a few days, but I managed to get a little bit done on it. I'm not completely finished with the room. I also decided I wasn't going to bother time-lapsing it because my computer really doesn't like having two instances of Minecraft running at the same time, so I decided not to bother with that. But yeah, I went ahead, did a bit of building, let me show you what we got done so far. So we got this huge room just completely dug out now, this is quite a lot. Like I said, it's like two or three almost? I'd say two and a half days probably. Of just digging out and then slowly putting it all together here. But yeah, I'm kind of planning what I think I'm going to do with it is I'll go down a little bit more like right about here, like another dip down like that, like how I done it there. And then we'll have like, I'm kind of wondering, like, you know, that shulker thing that we got from the end that gives us like five seconds or whatever of like um, lift up or whatever it's called. I'm just going to call it that. Sure. But it lifts you into the air or whatever. I'm thinking maybe we can use that to get up and down like we use it to get up and then just have a way to drop down easily without taking any damage that would be pretty awesome but i want to try to incorporate that into there but yeah slowly coming together gonna take a break from it for now though because like i said it's been like two and a half days now of just digging and slowly putting it together i probably will do something different for like the walls here i think i might put like a gradient in it to make it look a little bit better like maybe from like gray up to white or something like that maybe that'll make it look neater i'm not too sure but for right now i think that's gonna be it for working on this i've spent a lot of time here and yeah as you can probably tell i haven't gotten a whole lot of the video done yet so yeah 
Let's start on something new. So the new thing that I kind of want to get into is I want to try and get into forestry and stuff like that. They have like bees and all that kind of stuff. So I want to try getting into the bees, basically. I believe in order to get some of the other stuff, you have to get into the bees and start like farming these guys up, getting their honeycombs and all that kind of stuff. So I want to start making my way over this way and doing all this stuff right here. So the first thing we're going to have to do... Uh, we're gonna have to make this scoop. This here is, I ba believe, basically the first thing you'll need to start, like, scooping stuff from the hives and stuff like that. So, we're gonna go ahead, let's make ourselves a scoop. Pretty simple to make, just, like, five sticks, basically. Oh, no, six sticks, I lied, and a piece of wool. So let's go ahead, let's craft that up, and let's steal from some beehives, guys. Alright, here's our first victim. Muncher here is eyeing them down. Showing them who's boss, giving them a good scare. So let's go ahead, let's try using this thing. I think basically you just like right click, I believe. Let me see. Get the scoop out. Let me just right click this thing. Get ready, Muncher. You're probably gonna have to pick up any goods that drops. Oh, oh, we can break it, we can break it. Okay, you break it like that. Oh, okay, they were stinging for a second, but they're not stinging anymore. Get wrecked, bees. Get wrecked. That's right, run away. Taught him a lesson, didn't we, Muncher? Eat the bees! Eat the bees! I guess Muncher's not hungry. He just wants to look at them. Okay. Understandable. But we got a modest princess and a modest drone. Now, I think the most important ones are queens, but I think you can use, like, princess for, like, breeding and stuff. I'm not too sure. I only did, like, a quick 10-second Google search. But yeah, let's go around. I'm gonna destroy a bunch more hives. Get stung a bunch more, and I'll be back once I have some bees. Alright, so it took a little bit, but I found a different beehive, finally. So yeah, there are different beehives, and different types of bees. There's a lot of different type of bees. And you can tell just by looking in my inventory here, and if I look in Muncher here, even though they're pretty much all called, like, Modest Princess Drone and stuff, they actually are all different types, and that's why they don't stack. As you can see, those ones aren't stacking, so these all must be different types of princesses, so they could be, like, I don't know, Forest or Brocky or whatever. I, I don't really know the all the types, but there's, like, different types and stuff, and there's different, like, is it archetypes? Is that the right word? Basically, think of it like Pokemon. I, where a Pokemon can be like normal and poison basically it's kind of like that yeah let's destroy this one what does this got so these are meadows meadow princesses that's another thing it could be like forest and meadow you know kind of like that but yeah different type of bees so gotta keep your eyes out for them oh what the heck one of these things it's a frog Yes, that is what it's called. That is a frog. That is not what frogs look like where I live. Oh, that's sad. Rip. But yeah, with all the different bees and stuff, that gives you a reason to go out and explore, find the different beehives. I know there's beehives in like the end as well as the nether and stuff, so you gotta go all over to get these bees. There is bees everywhere. But luckily... One thing that's nice, I think this might help us with finding all the bees, the Habitat Locator. I'm assuming this probably, well, locates different habitats probably, is my assumption. So, I'm gonna build this and we're gonna probably go out and look for some stuff, maybe later. But for right now, I wanna play around with the bees we got right now at home. I do have a few apiaries that I stole from some villages that we can actually get started, which is nice. So I think we're gonna head home, we're gonna get started on the bee thing, and yeah, we're gonna get busy with bees. So apparently these uh, apiaries are not apiaries, they are in, in fact bee houses. I know, huge difference, right? But anyway, basically I think the way these works is they don't have as, like can't do as much as an apiary I'm assuming. I think they might not be able to, like, breed bees might be a thing. I'm not too sure. I don't know what the huge difference is, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to make some apiaries and stuff. And also, 
I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'll throw like some queens in here because apparently you can't do a whole lot with queens other than get stuff from them so I may as well just chuck them in here and set them all up, make them happy and yeah, get some stuff from them. But yeah, we also have to go ahead and make a few machines now too. So to make the apiary, we need, I believe is seed oil and we need the carpenter. So that means we need a squeezer and well, the carpenter. So let's go ahead, let's start building some things. I'll probably build a few extra things as well though. Cause if we take a look here, we have like this engine thing and I might need the extra power while we're here. So I might have to make the fermenter and stuff as well. But yeah, let's start building some stuff guys. Let's start crafting. Well, that is all the machines made now, so let's go ahead, let's make that apiary. So if we take a look here, I believe with the uh, squeezer, you can actually make seed oil with cherry trees, which is great because those cherry trees, they drop a lot of the cherries. So, and I mean a lot, like you get at least a stack per th like tree you chop down basically. But anyway, we need seed oil so that way we can put it in here so we can make the, uh, I believe it is here, note right there, impregnated casing. So we need to make that there so that way we can make the apiaries and stuff. So let's go ahead, let's get a bunch of cherries out here, I'll just grab a few and let's just try throwing them in and see if this thing works. That should make seed oil, yep. It's making seed oil, but it's not going over. I probably need something a little more fancy than this. I think there's a thing for like pushing liquids and stuff, I believe. But it might have to get the one millibucket maybe before it leaves. I'll sit here and wait, and we will see. So sadly guys, I was not able to do the pipes and stuff. I could not get the liquid to go through them over to the other thing here. So yeah, we're just gonna do it manually. Like I've tried going through the back, the bottom, wherever you could think of basically, it didn't work. Maybe there's a way I can automate it, but for right now, we're just gonna do it manually. I went ahead, I threw a bunch of stuff in here. I'll just throw more in, basically logs plus the seed oil. That'll get you the impregnated casings. I got a bunch there. I also went ahead, I already made a few of these. Super simple. Just take that, throw it in the center, and you got more of them. I don't know if I'm going to need that many, but we got a lot of them. At least enough for now. Enough to take a look at them. Now, I think with the apiaries, I could be wrong here, but I think you can't put anything on top of them. I'm pretty sure. So be careful of that when you're setting these things up. Pretty sure that's a thing. At least that's what a YouTuber I was watching said. But anyway. Now for the bees. So for the bees here. You can actually learn a bit about them, like from this here. Like, this one's Meadows Meadows. This one is Forest Forest. And you can also see, like, flower type, pollination. These guys are slower. Production, slowest. Lifespan, shorter. So it tells you a lot of stuff about them. And to learn about your bees, what you need... Let me grab an extra one here. Uh, Let's do... What do we want to do? Let's take a look at... Sure, you. Why not? So looking at this guy, you throw him in here, you give some honey. Uh, first you put honey, then throw the bee in, and then there, you can learn about your bees. And know, like, species, if they have a secondary species kind of thing there, sometimes that's a thing. Um, and then you can learn flowers, which flower type, I'm guessing flowers is just all flowers. I know with the winter one here, let me take you out, where's my winter? Uh, right there. So apparently the winter one has, uh, snow as their flower type. Because, you know, snow, flower, same difference. It's the exact same thing, clearly. But snow works for them, so that's cool. 
So that means I would have to go somewhere else, I think, for the wintry guys, I guess. At least to use them and stuff. I'm assuming, unless I can just like place snow down and that'll be fine. That might be the case. I'll have to try it. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's play around with these things a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead, I moved way over here, and I also have a bunch of flowers here, which is pretty nice. So now we should be able to start, like, doing stuff with the bees. I tried it over at home, but I had a problem where it was apparently too hot. So hopefully this is a good area. So forest should work here. I mean, we're in a plane, so I guess we'll see. Let's throw that in here. Yeah, it's working. Okay, and this has immediately filled up. All right, cool. Now, I think this bar, I believe, serves as, like, how long... Oh, there's a creeper over there. I just seen him bob his head up. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful. All right. But yeah, I think this serves as basically the lifeline for the queen, I'm pretty sure. So when this runs out, you'll have all your goods and stuff, but I think the queen ends up dying. And I believe... Uh, when it's a princess, I think it serves as, I think like a, not a health bear, but it like starts at nothing and fills up as it breeds, I think, is how it works. I'm not too sure. I'll have to play around with it with like some not queens and have to do that later. But yeah, when this runs out, the queen will die. Hopefully we'll have some stuff. I'll be back and yeah, let's go take care of this creeper. Let's take care of the creeper. Um... I swear I seen a creeper. I'm not cre oh there he is. Hello. Get a creeper. Oh, this is a tough creeper. There we go. He's a hungry creeper. I feel bad. I should have gave him some food. Ain't that right, Muncher? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's wait on this stuff now. So I messed up uh just a little bit. Just a teeny weeny bit, but it's all good now. I went ahead, I threw in these untreated frames. I managed to find some strings, surprisingly. I don't have a whole lot, but yeah, we're getting honeycombs now, so that's great. He's, this guy here doesn't seem to produce a whole lot, though. Like, he only produced one throughout his whole lifetime. This guy, however, he's produced quite a bit, so that is pretty awesome. And there's another one. Yeah, he is producing a lot, so we got a fair bit of honeycombs now. Yeah, just remember to do that, guys. Put these things in. They're basically just sticks. Well, I have the recipe right here, actually. Just sticks and string in the middle. And there you go. And then you can get your honeycombs, and you can get honey from those. And that is good for learning about your bees here. Okay, so interesting here. From the meadow one, uh, basically, we got a meadow drone, but we got a common drone and a forest princess. So apparently you can get different types of bees from a certain type of princess. So meadows can give forest or common, I guess. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you can... I don't know, should I try breeding these? Uh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't think you can breed two different types. And I think you want to breed them with the same type so you can get like a pure just forest kind of one, I think. Pretty sure that's how it is anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna head back, I think. I need to go ahead and get some honey so I can learn a bit about my bees. So, I'm starting to run a little bit low on time right now, guys, so I'm gonna have to call it here for today. But before we go, I don't know why, but, like, when I'm watching people on YouTube about forestry, I notice they get, like, bees that are, like, two types, but every bee I've checked so far has been the same type. I don't know if that's because, like, the mod version they're using or something, or if maybe it's because I got it, like, from a chest or something, because a lot of the bees I found were actually from villages and stuff, so I don't know if that affect anything. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more modded Minecraft in the future. I will see you guys all again in the next episode. Until then, have a great week, everybody.